you shouldn't lie with man, because you like you be, you with man now, right? Guys, you believe in the Bible though, right? God said that you shouldn't lie with a man as you lie with a woman. You believe in the Bible. You're not supposed to change, you can't change your gender. You're always gonna be a man. Always gonna be a man. To hell with what America says. God said that you cannot change, you cannot lie with listen, another listen. man. What's your future? What's your destiny? Do you know? Yes. Step up here. Tell me. Be about to come for what? Okay, so you want to go to. I'm talking about what's going to happen to you and your people in the future. You believe in the Bible, right? What's going to happen to you according to this Bible if you don't keep God's commandments? The world, what? Okay, good. There you go. Good. I want you to stay right here. Now, what do you say, sis? What's our destiny as a people? Right now, we've been brought into slavery. We at the bottom. We get shot down in the streets by the other nations. What's our destiny? What, what are we gonna end up as a people? What's our last end? Huh? Okay. No, I'm asking you, what's your destiny, period? Okay, if you choose God, or if you don't choose God, you're gonna die. So, are you choosing God right now? You choosing God right now. You following the Lord? Can you be perfect? No, I'm asking you a question. Can you be perfect? Yes or no? What about you? Can you be perfect? Okay, okay. Let's see. The sisters say we're not perfect. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. I know, I know what you said. Watch this. Let's see what Christ tells you to do though. Read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So this is Jesus Christ speaking. He told us that we must be perfect. How you doing, bro? You heard what Jesus said? He said, what? Read it again so this brother can hear. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So this is Jesus Christ speaking. He told us to be perfect, the Son of God. If we could not be perfect, he would never told us to be perfect. You understand, sir? That's right. So I be perfect. Let me get that scripture in song. It's a way of Jesus Christ telling us to be perfect, sis. Guess what? It's something in the Bible that tells us how to be perfect. Do you understand? Be ye therefore perfect. You heard what Christ said, brother? He says, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. But guess what? They're not teaching us that in church. Hold on, sis, where you going? No, stay here. The Bible says, be perfect. Hey, brother, right here with the dreads. I won't, I won't go, don't go nowhere. I'm going to show y'all something. That's very important. What happened to your eye? Uh, I had a guy into a friend's fight. A man? A man put his hands on you? Okay. So you a man? Hey, stay and listen, bro. You used to be a man, but now you a woman. Okay. I got to deal with that, too. So now, let me read this scripture. And I, I got something for you. Psalm, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. You heard what the Bible says, sis? So now he's telling you how to be perfect. The Bible says the laws of God is perfect, converting the soul, meaning it's going to change you. The Bible is what's gonna change you. Y'all understand, this is how you be perfect. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So we must keep God's laws as a people. The laws of God is perfect, converting the soul. It's gonna change you as a person, read. If you keep God's laws, come on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. What's making wise the simple. So what's going to make you wise? God's laws. Now give me that in Leviticus 18 verse 22. You say you're a transgender man, woman, right? You used to be a man. But, okay, let's see what God says real quick. Read that. The book of Leviticus, hey, sister, chapter 18 and verse 22. Go on the internet and check that out. Read it. On the internet. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Hey, hey, brother. God said that you shouldn't lie with man because you like you you with man now, right? God, you believe in the Bible, though, right? God said that you shouldn't lie with a man as you lie with a woman. You believe in the Bible. You're not supposed to change. You can't change your gender. You're always gonna be a man. Always gonna be a man. To hell with what America says. God said that you cannot change. You cannot lie with another man. Read it again. 
Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Hey, where you going? It is abomination. God says that if you sleep with another man and you're a man, you sleep with another woman and you're a woman, it's an abomination. You're an abomination to God. You must repent, brother. You will never be able to change your gender from a man to a woman. Bring it out. Give me that in us, Ecclesiastes 7 to 38. God said, not me. God said. And if you agree with what America says, you're going to die in America. You're going to die here because you don't want to follow God's ways. You don't want to keep God's commandments. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Bring it out. This is another problem. I've just mentioned this, that we are being destroyed because we're not keeping God's commandments. Homosexuality, lesbianism is against God's laws. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Lord, this only have I found, that God hath made man upright. The Bible says that God has made man upright, meaning he made man to be with a woman. He made a woman to be with a man. That's what God did. You read it in Genesis. You read that in Genesis. It says, may he man and may he a woman. It didn't say he made a man and he changed his gender. It didn't say he made a woman and she changed her gender. America taught you that. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. They have sought out many. You know what the inventions is that they sought out? That they say, you know what? I want to know what it feels like to be a woman. I don't want to be a man no more. So guess what? The white man came up with his science. He came up with pills that you can take that allows you to grow breasts. He, he can take pills as a woman that allows you to grow a, a beard. They sought out many inventions against God's commandments. That's what our people did. Give me that real quick about wearing pants. Did y'all sisters know that y'all not supposed to wear pants? I can wear whatever I want. You believe in the Bible? I believe in the Bible, the Quran, the Quran, the book, all the books that come from God. So I all the books that come from God. Well, anything that man said. <laughs> Give me Isaiah 34 first. Yeah, I can, a man wrote that. Oh, we know a man wrote it. The man wrote it as your ancestors, sister. They was black men. The men of God wrote the Bible. Everybody want to say, men wrote the Bible. Then, then you went to school, right? You went to school, you learned math, and you believe in that math, right? One plus one is two, yes or no? You believe in that, don't you? But you don't want to believe the Bible. Right. You don't want to believe that our people is buck wild crazy. Read it again. I want you to feel, sis, but you got to think. You got to think. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So the Bible says, search out of the book of the Lord and read. You understand? So you got to go into the Bible and read the book, sis, and learn who you are and why you went through the things you went through. You understand that? You got this one, sis. Guess what, sis? Sis. I just asked you a question, right? Before we close out, I just asked you a question. I said, I said, no, no, I asked you. I said, you learn math, right? They taught you one plus one is two, right? Yes or no? That's what they taught you, right? Who wrote that book? The white man wrote that book, but the people that wrote this book is your ancestors. We, but the man, but there was regular men that wrote one plus one is two. But the man that wrote this Bible is spiritual man, men of God. That's you understand right. that? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.